Well, at least I don't have to worry about her running off with the bloke next door. The truth is, you can't go on forever. That's why it's right that this is my last conference as leader. And of course, it's hard to let go. But it's also right to let go for the country and for you, the party. He's a remarkable man a remarkable servant to this country, and that is the truth. <laughs> this terrorism isn't our fault. We didn't cause it. It's not the consequence of foreign policy. It is an attack on our way of life. It is global. It has an ideology. It killed nearly 3,000 people, including over 60 British, on the streets of New York before the war in Afghanistan or Iraq was even thought of. This is not our war against Islam. This is a war fought by extremists who pervert the true faith of Islam. From now until I leave office, I will dedicate myself, the same commitment I've given to Northern Ireland, to advancing peace between Israel and Palestine. And yes, it's hard sometimes to be America's strongest ally. And yes, Europe can be a political headache for a proud, sovereign nation like Britain. But believe me, there are no half-hearted allies of America today and no semi-detached partners in Europe. And the truth is, nothing we strive for, from the world trade talks to global warming to terrorism and Palestine, can be solved without America or without Europe. <laughs> Next year, I won't be making this speech, but in the years to come, wherever I am, whatever I do, I'm with you. Wishing you well, I'm wanting you to win. You're the future now, so make the most of it.